up guys, today we're going to be doing this title reveal effect using this shot of a wave. This is a really easy effect to do with a shot like this with high contrast and movement. So let's get into the editing. So the first thing I want to do is create the title. So I'm going to go up here to the titles tab and I'm going to go to titles, search for the basic title that comes with Final Cut Pro. I'm going to drag that down into my timeline. I'm going to go up here to the uh, parameters and I'm just going to type in my title. So, so now my title is done. The next step is to copy and paste your video clip. Select it, press Command C and then Command V to paste. And you want to put that directly above the original video clip with the title in between them both. So what I'm going to do now is select my top layer clip go to my effects over here, go down to keying, and I'm gonna use the luma key effect and drag that onto my video clip. And then I'm just going to disable my bottom video clip by selecting it and then pressing V. So now I'm gonna to go to my top clip, go up to the parameters on the luma key. And what I want to do is just get rid of the beach portion, which is like the dark parts of the video. And to do that, I'm just going to use these sliders and move them towards the center. And you'll see that the dark portions of the video clip start to disappear. And the main aim of this is to change the settings so that there's a nice clean cutoff between the highlights and the dark portion of the video clip. And you can also keyframe the strength of the Luma key. So for instance, at the beginning, I can see the title in the shot. So what I can do is just add a keyframe here, go back and just change it. Just like that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now what I can do is re-enable my bottom video clip by selecting it and pressing V. And now we should be left with a nice title wipe. And there we go, that is the finished product. Super easy to do once you have the right video clips. If you have a more difficult video clip to work with, then you can always add in a mask along with the Luma key so that you could mask out other portions of the clip. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.